Hi, this is Lesson 2 Homework of Module 7, Second Grade. Start by writing my name. Don't forget that part. Uh, now it says, use grid paper. We're going to use this grid right here to create a picture graph using data provided in the table. This is the table right here. Then answer the questions. So uh, first we're going to create the picture graph. Uh, we have got uh, labels and titles to fill out. We'll take the title for the table and make it the title for our graph. Don't leave this part out. Favorite mammals. All right, and then we have one, two, three, four different kinds of mammals. And we see in our graph here, we have one, two, three, four different kinds. We have four spots down here. So tiger, you can just write the letters, tiger, their initials, panda, snow leopard, and gorilla. And a tiger, there's eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm using circles. You could fill them in, you know, however you want to do it, but as long as you draw something in each little box that shows it's, you're going to count it, count that box. So a panda, there's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The snow leopard has seven. Here's our snow leopard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the gorilla is twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, now if I got ahead of you, you can go ahead and pause the video, catch up. Uh, sometimes I go too fast, but it's a video, so you can do that. If I, and if I you miss something, you can pause it, go back and see it again. Or if I'm taking too long or you don't need the help with it, you, a particular question, you can skip ahead. It's a video. I won't know. Uh, and the legend is going to be that this equals one mammal. I don't want to leave that part out. Now I've got some questions, then answer the questions. How many more people chose gorilla as their favorite mammal than chose tiger? So we're comparing gorilla and tiger. How many more? Gorilla has 12, right? And tiger, 8. So we could just look at this. One, two, three, four. Four more people. These four people here chose gorilla. Four more people. How many poor peop more people chose tiger and gorilla as their favorite mammals than panda and snow leopard? So we're going to do some adding together here. We need tiger and gorilla. Tiger and gorilla. So that's eight. Tiger is eight. Plus the gorilla is 12 and that's going to be more than uh, the panda and the snow leopard put together that's 11 plus 7 11 for the panda 7 for the snow leopard so this is 8 plus 12 that's going to be 20 and that 11 plus 7 is going to be 18 and I can see that 20 is 2 more than 18 so there's two more people two more uh, how many fewer people chose tiger as their favorite mammal than panda? Oh, this one's not too bad. So tiger, uh, how many fewer chose tiger? Fewer is the same thing as less. So tiger is going to be less than panda. How much less? One, two, three. It's these three right here, three less. And now down here, write and answer your own comparison question based on the data. So that's a comparison question about the animals in this graph that you're going to be able to answer by looking at the graph. So comparison means you're going to be using words like less, 
more, how many more, how many less, Uh, and then some of these, like uh, you have some examples here where they actually they added some of these together. So um, we could just say, uh, let's look at tiger and snow leopard and say, uh, how many uh, and less. We can also use fewer for less, right? So we could say, how many fewer chose snow leopard than tiger you can see here it's going to be one and the answer is one fewer person chose snow leopard than tiger page. Now we've got another graph is going to be a lot like the one in the other page. Right now on the first page they gave us a table with numbers and we had to make a column graph. And on uh, this one they're going to give us tally marks and we're going to have to make a bar graph that goes across. So here we have use the data of Mr. Clark's class vote to create a picture graph in the space provided. So we've got three bars or columns, right? We've got penguin, we've got flamingo, and peacock. Those are going to be our categories, um, our title. We'll just use the title for the table there, Favorite Birds. And our legend is going to be, let's look at what we have here. That's 5, 10, 14. We need 14 for peak. Do we have 14 going across? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That will be all of them. So we can have one. We can have each square be one bird. And we could start with the peacocks. That was the biggest one. We want to make sure we're going to have enough. Sometimes if you have too many for the grid, then you might have to double them up and have each circle be two birds. But in this case, we have just enough. So that's going to be all of them for the peacock. We just counted those out so we know we're going to need circles going all the way across. And that's going to be 14 peacocks. The flamingo has five. That's a five group. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And this row here is going to be for the penguins. Penguins are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we made our picture graph and we're going to look at the questions. How many more students voted for peacocks than penguins? Peacocks, that's 14. Penguins, there were six of those. You're just going to subtract to figure out the difference between the two. That's eight. So it's eight more students. How many fewer votes are for... I just realized something. That, that maybe we're, we're not counting birds, are we? Are we counting birds or are we counting votes? Because the questions are about votes. Votes, votes. So maybe we could, we could say 
and we can change it. Probably could leave it up with birds, it'd probably be fine. Why don't we call that a vote instead? We're counting votes, right? The questions are about votes. How many fewer votes are for flamingos? How many fewer are for flamingos than penguins and peacocks? So you get, okay, penguins and peacocks are, uh, that's six penguins and 14 peacocks. Right, 6 plus 14, that's 20. But 20 is not the answer here because we have to figure out how many fewer flamingos there are than 20, which are those two put together. Uh, the flamingos, there's five of those. So how many fewer? We've got to subtract to figure that out. 20 minus 5 to figure out the difference between those two. 15. So there's 15 fewer votes for the flamingo than for the peacock and the penguin put together. And then write and answer your own comparison question based on the data. And just like before, we're, we're using uh, is it less or how many more, how many less, how many fewer. Uh, we can combine categories. Uh, we could ask a question like, and then when we want a comparison question, so we're going to compare some of the categories. We could say, uh, how many more, how many more what? How many more uh, peacocks are there? And what if we added the penguins and flamingos together? That would be 5, 10, that would be 11, and we'd still have more peacocks. So we could say, how many more peacocks? How many more peacock votes are there than uh, penguin and flamingo votes? And that doesn't have to be the only question. There's lots of different questions you can make up, but that's just the first one I thought of. Uh, and the answer to that would be, well, let's see. Let's figure it out. There's peacock votes. That's 14. Uh, penguin. And I kind of already figured this out. That was 6 penguin and 5. That's 11. So it's 14 minus 11. So that's, there are... Three more votes for for peacocks. His favorite bird. 